Hi guys. All right. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, if I don't answer back on my public page, there's I don't know what's going on with uh, Facebook. I can't. I'm not banned. <laughs> not a bit. Not banned again. So I don't know what's going on with Facebook. I I'm not even gonna worry about it. Don't care. Anyways, so today manifestation bottles. My own manifestation bottle for myself works better for everybody else than myself. So, my dad, he, it, the crazy, he calls them coincidences, but they're synchronicities because of the manifestation bottle. And obviously, he plays the lottery quite a bit, and he, uh, yeah, he won a little bit of money. So, this is how my manifestation bottles go. And this one is for me personally, for depression so joy we're gonna have joy oil in there high vibration oil in there we're gonna have uh, actually for some prosperity just a bit I'm gonna add it that's my prosperity powder which turned to ash and I think I showed you guys this I think I did this in a video with the fire and all that good stuff so and then from the Blue Witch, a little bit of frog. Yes, frog. Real frog. It smells amazing. So, all I do, I start out with these. Very, very, very cute glass. So, I already have my quartz crystals crushed. So, a little bit of quartz crystal will go in there. So, for my for depression uh, just to so I don't want to focus on depression so I'm gonna focus on joy um, you can be prosperous in all areas of your life not just money so prosperous within uh, joy uh, happiness love kindness compassion so I have the sage that I will stick in there just like that for that cleansing clearing bringing in good things good energy good vibes I have one mint 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 stem which works the same now, I really want to keep them intact because they look really cool once they're actually in there so I need to break that down just a bit I mean they look really cool when they're in there so there's the herbs it smells really good. I love the smell of mint. Mint is my favorite. I love it. I'm going to add one rose petal. I'm actually going to fold it. And then I'm going to fold it again. Oddly enough, these rose petals, I don't know why, they have not gone bad. So I have one rose petal in there. So, all right, and then we have some feathers for the very top. They are dove feathers. So obviously dove, peace, love, kindness, compassion, the olive tree. Obviously you guys know the story of the olive tree. And well, he's right there. So my dove. All right. Now, I'm going to add. These things are so sharp, so if you do do this, be careful. I will blog this for you guys. So just a few quartz crystals crushed. Quartz crystals crushed. Say that 20 times fast. So I just let those go wherever they want to fall. And they usually fall in really cool places, so I mean, it just, it, it's really a work of art once it's completely finished. It, it just really is amazing. So, um, I have some sacred tobacco, which it's mixed with sweet grass, so it brings in the good spirits, the good energy, gets rid of all negativity. And this was gifted to me by a, an elder. As you guys saw in my candle preparation video. 
So this was gifted to me by an elder. So I just take up just a tiny pinch of my sacred tobacco with the sweet, sweet grass in there. And I'm gonna do two pinches. Kind of tap the top. Tap it. I mean, it really does. It really looks like a really, really cool piece of artwork when you're finished. I know you guys can't see that on camera. Which is sucky, but it's okay. Alright, now to get this thing tied back. I don't know how I'm going to do that. These are so difficult. There we go. Oh my god, I've had this for so long. Especially my medicine pouch. Okay, there we go for that. Quartz crystal's already in there. Okay, now a tiny, tiny bit of manifestation powder. And that's not just for money, prosperity. It's for pros being prosperous and joy and all that good stuff. So this stuff comes out pretty. Pretty quickly. Manifestation powder. Now a just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of frog. And it actually smells really, really good. So just a tiny pinch of frog. I love this thing. Blue Witch, I love you for this. This is amazing. Okay, so I have that in there. And I wish you guys could actually see how cool. I mean, it just, the colors and just how it falls and it just, it's, it's a work of art in itself. So, all right, next step. I'm going to add some joy oil. That's what I'm going to be attracting to myself. So, joy oil. Um, the Samhain oil will be up in the shop. Very soon. Very soon. So, I don't do too much. Just a couple drops. There's one two. I actually want to do three. Four, five, six. I want to do six drops of my joy oil. Okay. And it actually just, I mean, it, it's so amazing how it just all comes together when you're doing it. It, it really is. It's fun. It's it's really fun. It's really crafty, and it works. And all the smells just... I mean, you're not going to take the top off when it's glued and everything, but it's just still it's amazing. So you have that smell. You have that working for you constantly. High vibration oil. My mania has kicked in full blast, and I don't want it to stop. I don't want to go back down and crash with the depression. So, I'm going to do three drops of high vibration oil. One, two, and three. Well, I guess I could squeeze the rest of that out. That smells amazing. Oh my god. All right. So what it does, it, it just kind of, it 
really it soaks into everything all the herbs and it kind of keeps everything in place and I don't know if you guys can see it too well it's just it's so cool it's so fun to make too it's easy I like that I love that smell so I'm ready I'm totally ready for it so I'm gonna cap it make sure it's capped very tightly hopefully you guys can see in there I mean it's just like a work of art in itself it's just it's gorgeous I love it you can see the quartz and you can see the sage and the mint sprig and it's just so cool it's fun to do so okay now to empower it and charge it. Since everything I have is already in the etheric realm, the etheric temple in Undal, with Isis and with Thoth, what I do, um, if you guys follow along in the book, um, The Union of Isis and Thoth, I have been slowly getting myself back into the initiations, um, the crystals that you receive in your hand. So that's what I do. I open my crystals up, so it takes a second. what I'm doing is I'm just visualizing the crystals opening up. So I'm going to take one deep breath in from the sky and let that mix with my heart center. And I feed it my own love as well in my heart center. One deep breath from the earth to mix with the sky and the earth in my heart center. Now both at the same time. And I actually feed it love. I feed my heart center love. So with an in-breath I'll invoke Isis. Just Mother Isis, please come and aid me in my working of manifestation for joy, compassion, love, thought. Okay. I can see myself in the etheric temple right now with Isis and Thoth and Anubis and Jackal and I can actually see us all doing this together okay now they're lifting it up and they're floating it up into the air and it's being charged there etherically a heart breath. So as it is, 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 as it is. Okay, my hands are very hot. And then to close the crystals, that's what you do. They're closed. So, perfect, perfect, I love it, it's cute, it's, I love it. So, this is focusing on love, kindness, compassion, empowerment, joy, happiness, and it's actually really warm to the touch. Okay. So we're gonna get a little crafty with a little uh, glue gun. So what I do 
<clears throat> as I go around the top. Just a tiny bit, so it seals it. Now that part is sealed. So that little tiny top is sealed. Now for my dad's, I did a whole bunch of other stuff for him just to make it look even better. Um, I don't want to do that for myself. So um, I think I'm going to crush another crystal. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So. Alright, now you can get as creative as you want. So, my little quartz. Ouch. I'm going to take. It's the quartz crystal, literally. I'm going to charge it so it's going to bring love, kindness, compassion, empowerment, inspiration, spirituality, patience, happiness. Give it a hard breath. As it is, 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 as it is. I get very trancy. So take a little tiny dab of your hot glue or super glue, whatever you want to use. Hot glue is easiest for me. Ouch, ouch. Maybe it's not. There we go. So you can do anything. You can create these bottles any way you want. And I customize them for you. So if you want them, just let me know. Uh, they are on sale. All right, so. Sealed. Perfect. Good. All the colors are popping out. The oils actually make the colors pop out. So I don't know if you guys can see that too well. So I, lo I just, I love these little bottles. I never thought of manifestation bottles. Spell bottles. Only mini, instead of these gigantic jars. So, now for the placement of the dove feathers. So I don't know how I actually want to do it. So, take a tiny, I hate working hot glue with feathers. It's a son of a bitch. Okay, thank you, Isis. Thank you, Thoth. That turned out to be uh, quite uh, better than it usually is. So it actually reminds me kind of a, a, a canopy, kind of sh uh, shielding, which would be uh, the quartz. And then I have another little... Oh, these things are so delicate. And I don't have very delicate fingers. Very, very, that's actually a white wing dove. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. You guys can see the white shine. So let's see, how do I want to do this one? All right, I have an idea. A little bit of hot glue. Oh, whoa, too much, too much hot glue. All right. feathers around. Be 
piece them, you can actually piece them out like hair and make them look really cool. That one turned into a kind of a leafy looking thing, <laughs> which I'm not complaining about. All right, so that is the manifestation bottle. I know it looks very simple, very easy, but once you actually get it charged up and you prepare it and you prepare all your oils and everything, you guys hear that? Cicadas. Cicadas. I love my cicadas. So. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to actually, you know what, hold on, hold on for just a sec, I might have something, Maybe I don't. Oh, I was thinking like pretty, but I don't really do pretty. So, a little bit of yarn. Yeah, pretty is not my brand. Offensive is my brand. Offensive is my brand, that's terrible. So. Alright, I'm just gonna kind of take the top. I feel like Martha Stewart. Oops, sorry guys. You guys fell out of my ear. <laughs> Don't try this at home. can't get you back in my ear. There we go. So yeah, don't try this at home. Alright. And then I'm going to slowly wrap it. Just kind of thinking about how grateful I am for what I already have. Very grateful for everything that I've already got been blessed with in this life. Okay, a little hot glue. Maybe. There we go. So you can do anything really with it. You can decorate it any way you want. So yeah, there is my manifestation bottle. I'm going to go around it. I actually want to put I love how these petals just I think there's two here. Two petals connected. I love how they just kind of out. So how would I do this? How would you guys do this? Would you guys put it on the side? I think. Okay, a little hot glue at the very base of it and voila. So I've got one rose petal. Now I'm going to take my other one. Do the same thing. Luckily these do not break. Very fortunate for that. Okay, a little hot glue on that. Find where I want to stick it. let it fall. I let them fall where they want to. 
So that is my manifestation bottle. Feathers, flowers, gems, herbs, oils, powders. Now I'm going to go around it again. with my hot glue gun. So everything sticks. the way this turned out. And you can add anything you want. Anything you want. So you have your crystal on the top that's surrounded by all of these beautiful little feathers and rose petals. And it's very sticky. see. Ouch. That doesn't feel the greatest. <laughs> All right. Manifestation. Bottle. Let your hot glue dry before you do this. So no cleanup. Thank God. You could wire wrap them. You could do a lot with them, actually. You could wire wrap them. You could do all kinds of just anything you wanted to. So that is my manifest yeah, manifestation jar. So give it one more little, I'll open up the crystals in my palms first. charge for love and kindness and compassion, empowerment, inspiration, spirituality, harmony, joy, peace of mind, wonderful days, waking up early, sleeping well, harmony in the home. As it is, 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 as it is. Okay, I can see it in the other temple again. Isis really likes it, she loves the feathers. Thoth loves what's inside of it. Osiris really likes the, the ash. I can actually see him putting it on his face. Okay, now Isis and Thoth are both taking it and putting it in the air. making these. They're fun. They're relaxing. For me, they're relaxing. That completely relaxed me. I love that. Okay, there is a little cleanup. Just a little bit. Not too much. Alright, guys. I will be right back, and I'll see you in just a sec. Hi, guys. <laughs> How are you all today? I hope well. I hope. So that was fun. That was that was creative. I love doing that kind of stuff. 
I, that just takes me back to my childhood. It just it, it, the inner child in me loves to do that. So yeah, I thought it was fun. I thought it was cool. Um, here's the finished product. I love doing these, and it, it, these don't even do it justice. This camera does not do it justice. If you guys could just see how everything comes together inside the bottle and then the top. It's just, it, it's really amazing, and I don't know what that looks like. It's its kind of like a, a butterfly, kind of. A little bit, a little bit of a butterfly. So, yeah, those are my manifestation bottles. So this one's mine. No, it's not for sale. <laughs> the other ones are. This one's not. This is mine. So, yes. That's how I do it. That's how I do my manifestation bottles. It's fun. It's great. I love them. They're they actually really work. Lucky uh, my dad. Can't believe him. Lucky. I'm going to start bleeping myself out. Censoring myself. No, I'm not. Fuck that shit. But yeah, that is amazing. I love doing that. I already feel uh, peaceful. Very peaceful. Very calm. Very tranquil. For now. For right now. I just thought it'd be really cool to do that with you guys. I wanted to do something very cool. I wanted to save it for Witchy Wednesday, but I just did not want to wait. So, um, thank you um, for this. I got something in the mail yesterday. You guys all saw yesterday that I got uh, my Lou made me a dream catcher with peacock feathers. I love it. It's amazing. I actually slept with that above my bed last night and it's I, I I don't even know how to say thank you besides saying thank you I just it's I, I thank you I'm, I'm beyond humbled and, and grateful it's just I don't think I deserve this kind of stuff I don't know what I did to deserve it so it's just yeah it's it I've been conditioned to think that you know you don't ever get anything for free nothing comes for free there's always going to be you know if you do get a gift there they're going to hold it over your head for the rest of your life or you're like indebted to that person for the rest of your life that's how i've been raised great view that's a great viewpoint isn't it no it's not thank you i got this in the mail it's not just a bag this is amazing so if you guys could tell me what kind of stone this is I would be very very grateful it is the tetragrammatron um, thank you so much I don't know where you got this I don't know I, 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 I know the tetra tetragrammatron is amazing isn't that gorgeous? I am just in awe. In awe. I mean, that has got some serious... That's heavy. That is seriously some heavy stuff going on right there. Now on the other side, what is that? What kind of stone? Is it for scrying? Um, it looks like... It might be for scrying. I'm not 100% positive. So you guys can see how it kind of... It, it's almost like a, a mirror. Does it pop open? No. It does not pop open. So is there anything in there? It's, it's very... Th it's, it's thick. So it's, it's that. I love that. That's gorgeous. That is the most gorgeous thing. And then the back flip side is the Tetragrammatron. Kind of reminded me of uh, Lucifer's metal, the one that he just kind of, you know, flips around in his fingers, you know, with no fingers going. So thank you so much. I love this. I love this. I don't know what the stone is. I will post better pictures. No idea what the stone's for. I think it's for scrying. I'm not sure. There we go. There's a better picture of the tetragrammatron. 
I love it. Thank you so much. That is seriously, I mean, I love this. So yeah, it's just, is it, what do I feel? What do I feel when I hold it? A lot of peace, a lot of peace. You're a very peaceful man. You're very peaceful, very tranquil. Lots of love, lots of love, lots of love in the heart. Heartache, a little bit of heartache. I'm picking up on you, not what this is for, so I'm gonna stop right there. So yeah, I'm just, I, I love this. Of course I love this. It's incredible, thank you so much. So, and I love this little bag. I love this little bag, it keeps it perfectly. It really does. And I love that. That is amazing. So I thank you so much for that. So yes. Thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. Um, oils. You guys should have your oils today. You, uh, somebody should have gotten text messages saying that it's arrived. It has arrived. So, for uh, my short film, it's called, ta -da! I have fuzzies all over me. Yes, I'm procrastinating, I'm stalling. The death dimension, the death dimension. So I've, I've the official trailer, take two, is up. So it's gonna be a Ouija pop short film. I have so much going on in my head for it, it just, I, I'm very excited, very excited. You guys look very excited too. I'm excited, so I've got to get it going. I've got to get it under go, underway. It, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be a great thing. Um, so just to, to bring out the, the light within the darkness is, is my goal. So Ouija Pop. So that is all I'm going to say about the short film. That's it. So I'm excited to... Uh, um, yeah, I'm just excited to do it. It's my first, my very first short film, so lots of, uh, lots of good stuff happening, lots of good stuff coming. More stuff is going to happen in the future. It's going to be great, and I think you guys will like it, hopefully. I hope. I really hope. Um, you guys mentioned yesterday in our chat, our, uh, live chat, uh, meet and greets those are possible those are very possible that's going to be a very big possibility and then I was actually I feel really bad now yesterday I totally bragged on I think everybody that I possibly could have but it was just funny it was funny because it was towards Tom Cruise and Scientology but um, one person I did rag on a little, I didn't really rag on him, uh, Ryan Buell. Um, I can totally relate to your situation. I can totally relate to your situation. Waking up every day is hell. It's hard. It is so fucking hard to get out of bed due to certain... Uh, things. So I myself did a long time ago. I had the same problem. The same problem. Um, it wasn't good. I got help. Um, I'm better. I'm better. It takes about 12 months for your brain, 7 to 12 months for your entire brain, your biological system to get back in order. Probably a full year. Um, I just kind of wanted to say I was sorry that you're going through that. Um, I just, I could see it in, in some of your live videos that you did. I could see your sincerity and it just, it, it, uh, it did bring me to tears because it's not a great thing to go through. So, um, I don't know, you know, the, I don't know the entire story. I don't know 
you know, the media is very good at blowing everything out of proportion, so um, I just want to kind of say sorry, and um, you're completely not alone. So many of us do go through that, uh, being scared to be, uh, you know, stage right. Yes, I have that too. A lot of us do. Um, just, it's very different. It's a very different experience, but it gets better, and it gets better, and it gets better, and it gets even more better. So it just, it, it really will, it will get better, but I it feel really stupid for saying anything like that, anything bad. Because it was not my place to say that, because I had no idea what was going on, the truth. So I'm not sure. But yes, I am very sorry that you're going through that, and I hope, you know, I all my love, all my love, for you. I know you, you're strong. Look at you. Look at your career. You're strong. You'll get through this. But, alright guys, um, I will be putting up the Samhain oil on the Wix website, and I'm going out to mail out oils again, so, alright guys, I will see you all tomorrow for Witchy Wednesday, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I love you all very much, with all my heart, thank you guys so much for Lou, thank you for the Dreamcatcher, I love it, I absolutely love it, thank you for the Tetragrammatron, I love it, it I am just overwhelmed with, uh, yeah, joy. Yeah, so thank you guys very much. And I love you all again. From Venus all the way back down to us. I love you guys with all my heart. And I will see you tomorrow for Witchy Wednesday.